Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So, we will continue our discussion related to energy and power signals. So, in this question it has been asked to determine whether the signal xt equals to ut which is a unit step signal, it is an energy or power signal that we have to find out. Okay. So, the unit step signal we have a basic representation it is like this okay for t greater than 0 up to infinity it is 1 and for t lesser than 0 for negative time it is 0 okay this is the unit step signal so, first let us uh, try to find out the energy of the unit step signal. We know energy of a signal, we can write it as limit t tends to infinity minus t to t x t square dt. Okay. Now, here ut as I said it is 1 for t greater than 0 up to plus infinity you know for infinite time and it is 0 for t lesser than 0 up to negative infinite time. So, this will be we can uh, write it as limit t tends to infinity 0 to t okay 0 to t 1 dt why because for negative time minus t to 0 that is minus infinity to 0 it will be 0 okay this so only for 0 to infinity limit t tends to phi always remember this limit t tends to phi 0 to t which means 0 to infinity 0 to phi because t is equal t tends to infinity this is the expression. So, again it is equal to limit t tends to infinity integration t 0 which is equal to limit t tends to infinity t which is equal to infinity. So, energy is equal to infinite ok we have got that. Now, we have to determine the power. Power of a signal is again limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t minus t 2t x t square dt. Basically, it is limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t into e because this part this much portion is the energy okay this much portion this is the energy signal okay the energy okay the energy of the signal which we have calculated here which is equal to infinity so we can write it in the same way Okay, we can write it in the same way here, it will be equal to 1 by 2t into e which we calculated here e is equal to t which is equal to infinity. So, it will be equal to limit t tends to phi 1 by 2t into t. C this we have already calculated minus t to t x t square d t is equal to t limit t tends to infinity that is equal to t we have already calculated here this this value it is equal to t this one as t tends to infinity the result is equal to infinity okay this one this this value here this is the energy okay this is equal to t Okay, t 
limit t tends to infinity that's why the value is phi here in terms of that it will be equal to limit t tends to infinity same thing will replace 0 to t x t square dt same thing 1 dt it will come t so here t and t will get cancelled from both the numerator and denominator and the result will be equal to 1 by 2 which is a finite value it is a finite value so here power is finite energy is infinite okay power is finite energy is infinite so it means that this signal okay this signal the unit step signal it is a power signal because power is finite energy is infinite okay so this is a power signal this is the condition of a power signal power should be finite energy should be infinite the unit step signal is a power signal okay hello friends so here is another question on energy and power signals so here it has been asked to check whether the signal xt is equal to 2ut so basically it is a unit ramp signal okay uh, xt is equal to tut whether you write it in this form or simply you write it as xt is equal to t it is basically the same thing okay it is a unit ramp signal and we have been asked to see to check whether this signal is an energy or power signal so unit ramp signal is basically like this okay this is t r t is equal to t ramp signal slope is equal to 1 unity so first we have to determine the energy of the unit ramp signal okay we know energy of a signal xt is given by limit t tends to infinity minus t to t xt square dt so whether you write it in this form or simply you directly you write minus phi to phi x to both are correct okay don't confuse between the two but in some cases it is uh, uh, for uh, you know for purpose of derivation to prove something it is better to write it in this form so that we get the output expression in terms of capital T okay so here I am writing it in this form so here it is equal to limit t tends to infinity minus t to t t square dt xt is equal to t that is the ramp signal which is equal to limit t tends to infinity t to the power 3 by 3 okay now here another important thing here this will be 0 the lower limit it will not be minus t okay it will be 0 why because see for negative time the ramp signal is 0 it is only for positive time that is t greater than equal to 0 rt is equal to t that is the signal for t lesser than 0 the ramp signal is equal to 0 okay so here it will be 0 to t that is from t equals to 0 to t equals to infinity here limit t tends to infinity that is why we can write it as 0 to t okay so please it is very important okay 0 to t to change the limit because from minus t to 0 the value of ramp signal is 0 here t lesser than 0 negative time 
okay so 0 to capital T so this becomes T cube by 3 this is capital T lower limit 0 that is equal to limit capital T tends to infinity T cube by 3 which is equal to infinity okay because T is infinity infinity by divided by something will be infinity by 3 so here energy is equal to infinite okay so here E is equal to in terms of capital T it is equal to T cube by 3 this as we as we have taken the limit t tends to infinity that is why it has become e equals to infinity because of this. Now we have to calculate the power. Power of a signal is limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t minus t to t x t square t t. So basically it is limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t multiplied with energy because this portion as we have uh, highlighted it in all the previous cases this portion is nothing but the energy of the signal minus t to t, limit t tends to infinity minus t to t that is minus phi to phi x t square dt this is nothing but the energy okay so it is 1 by 2 t e so here it is equal to limit t tends to phi 1 by 2 t into e is equal to t cube by 3. See that is why it is very important to write the expression of energy and power in terms of capital T for these calculation purposes. So here we will put t cube by 3 it will be t square by 6 limit capital T tends to infinity t square by 6 that is also equal to infinity because infinity square by 6 it will be infinity. So here is an important thing energy is equal to infinite we calculated previously power is also infinite. So this signal it does not satisfy the conditions for either being an energy signal or power signal so it is neither energy signal nor power signal okay i have discussed this in uh, the discussion related to energy and power signals it is not necessary that a signal should fall into one of the categories energy or power there, should, there are signals which do not satisfy the conditions they can neither be energy or power signals okay so this is a very good question related to that concept okay the unit ramp signal okay